Hey, this is Dan, and I want to go over uh, the configuration string for the robot arm inside of Cartesian points on FANUC TP programs. Because after uh, experience in the field, it seems like a lot of robot programmers that are out there don't really pay attention to this thing, and I want to illustrate how much it can help out people or make your job a lot easier. Uh, anyway, the thing I'm talking about is in like every in any program with motion, you'll have points, and then on the point. If you go inside of it, there'll be an XYZ all patrol and then a configuration string. So if I go into the point by hitting position, here's the point itself, XYZ all patrol. So this is a string I'm talking about, this NUT000. Uh, you may have even notice a cut because I had to, uh, I screwed up the video midway through and I had to change this point. But anyway, so this configuration tells the robot how to get to this point, in this case, point two and how to configure the arm and I'll go over each one one by one so this this N, I'll start with that, is to flip the wrist or the wrist configuration so N is not flipped and F is flipped so I'll run the program to illustrate how the program works normally and then we'll uh, we'll flip the wrist by changing that configuration so there it is just moves there and back the end. So let's go change the wrist configuration. So just hit position, config, and just the down arrow or up arrow. And then, uh, bam, now the wrist is flipped. So now I'm going to run the program again to illustrate how this affects the motion path. So it'll do pretty funky move. So wham, wrist is flipped. Now if the if your car was out here, it probably would have crushed the car, or maybe it will, might mess up the robot dressing or anything. So you have to watch out for that. And let's go back now to illustrate uh, the other stuff. So we'll change the uh, wrist flip uh, back to not flipped. Now the other two will almost never change, at least for our 2000s. Because... Uh, this stands for elbow up or down. It's basically how to configure the J3 where it should where it should be, like if it's up in the air or kind of below center line. Um, and then the next one is whether or not to have the main casting, like J1, be facing outward or facing backwards. And then you have this is usually combined with the last one to flip the whole arm over and then kind of reach the same point. So. If I toggle these, it'll probably make the point unreachable. So, like, let's see. Yeah, it turns the point red. That means in Simpro that it's a not not reachable point. And in the real world, you won't have a red point to look at. It, so you'll next when you try to run to it, the robot will uh, just say point unreachable. Or an easier way, you can just hit representation joint, and it'll say kinematic solutions are invalid. So yeah, it's not reachable. Um, so let's just reset that. We'll change the point. Oh, it's our, yeah, I already did that. Uh, so let's go back, go back to the configuration, change that so it's reachable again. And then uh, I'll talk about these numbers here. So the first number is uh, how to get J1 or which, where to keep J1 with, within. So zero means keep J1 within negative 180 to positive 180. So if I, if I go to the point, joint representation it's at zero this is that's where that point is so if I change it back to Cartesian I go to the configuration I change this to a one it's gonna put J1 at 360 because that's above 180 and that's the only way to get there again so bam it's at 360 so now if you ran the point it makes some crazy move and this is far outside of the a, no, a real robots limit so it would uh, it would actually crash the robot so it does one of the it does something crazy like this and bam, we're there. So, go back, robot. And we're back. So, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. But, uh, so that's, that's what the first portion of it does. Um, so let's change that back so it doesn't make that, that crazy move. And the next one is J4. Like, zero means keep J4 from within, uh, negative 180 to positive 180. And a 1 would mean make it above 180, and a negative 1 would mean keep it below negative 180. So let's put a 1 in here, 
and you'll see when I run the program again that it'll it'll f do this crazy crazy move. So yeah, it does that. We'll move it back. And now for the last last configuration. We'll turn the J4 configuration to zero again. And this last one's J6 configuration. So if it's zero, keep J6 within negative 180 to positive 180. If it's one, make it above 180. If it's negative one, make it below 180. So let's put a one in here and J6 will do this crazy spin move. And if it, which would likely result in like the robot dressing uh, getting ripped apart. So let's, uh, so yeah, does that crazy move. And in the field, the dress would probably drag all over the arm and basically either break immediately or probably break after a couple of months. And uh, that's pretty much everything with uh, regards to uh, the robot configuration strings. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks.